I'm not ashamed to admit that, yeah, I am a little paranoid about leaving my motorcycles outside without some sort of lock or various form of protection. Whether that be at home overnight, or even if I were to take my bike to work, the gym, or the store, I always have some sort of lock on my bike. And with the rise of vehicular theft, whether it be with motorcycles or Kias, you'd almost be crazy at this point not to have some form of lock on your bike. Now obviously, yeah, there's many different theft prevention devices on the market from disc locks, alarms, cable locks, GPS trackers, I mean, the list goes on forever. But today I'm going to show you something that I've had for a few years now, a product that I've never once seen anyone else used just based on my first-hand experience. It's called the Big Panther Grip Lock. I purchased this on Amazon for around $35. Yeah, there are various other grip type locks on Amazon and elsewhere that look identical and others that, well, look like a hunk of cheap shit plastic. Your mileage is gonna vary between all of them, I'm sure. Regardless, this big panther lock is straightforward. You get the device itself along with a set of keys. It also came with a nylon carry case. I threw mine away very quickly since it never really served any purpose for me. The thing is pocket sized anyway, which is awesome in the event you don't have any luggage options on your bike or even a backpack. This also came with a few different rubber gaskets that are supposed to align with the notch here on the metal. Problem with that is that they fall off incredibly easily. They have adhesive on the gaskets, but it's about as sticky as a bowl of Chex Mix. The only one that I still have is the gasket for the levers. So if you do end up buying something like this, get some sort of better adhesive than the ones that come with it because they are absolutely worthless. The gaskets do serve a purpose. They're supposed to not only protect your grips from the metal surface marring or damaging them, but they're also supposed to stop you or anyone else from being able to twist the throttle when the lock is engaged. Installation is practically foolproof, but instead of me explaining it, I'm just going to show you how it works. It couldn't possibly be any more simple. And yes, you can use this both on your brake or your clutch lever. But I have no idea why you would ever put this on the clutch side considering you're now able to roll around the bike regardless if the lock is on and if the bike is in gear. It literally makes zero sense to me. As I'm sure you have noticed, the lock uses a tubular style or barrel style, whatever you want to call it, lock. I'm not a huge fan of locks like this. Just from my experience with toolboxes and other shit that has a similar key like this, they tend to be pretty finicky at times. Luckily, I haven't had an issue with this, but I wouldn't be surprised in the future if for whatever reason it started randomly giving me problems. So one major thing you need to keep in mind is that this is by no means a one size fits all type deal. If you have a bike with larger hand grips, basically anything over 1.5 inches or 38 millimeters, it's just not going to work. The stock grips that are on my Bolt and my Versys work perfectly, so that's fine for me, but I know damn well that some of the bikes that I have owned in the past, like my old Suzuki Boulevard, Yamaha Virago, and Yamaha VMAX, this wouldn't even come close to working at all. This lock should also be totally fine for things like ATVs, scooters, or even e-bikes. Basically anything that has a grip and a brake lever should technically be compatible with this sort of lock. So, the fit and finish of this thing is maybe a step or two above questionable. It's a hefty looking lock, 
but it isn't really super heavy. It's about 14 ounces to be accurate, which I would imagine is fine, although I have no clue what the lock is actually made from. Hardened steel? I highly doubt. Aluminum? Zinc alloy? Some sort of mystery metal? Who knows, because the Amazon listing doesn't mention anything about it, and neither does Big Panther's ungodly website. Uh, I don't want to be mean or like some sort of a nitpicky cockhead. Honestly, I've seen high school students design better, more appealing websites, let alone some random person's blog about houseplants or various types of cheese. Over the course of the two-ish years that I've owned this, I have dropped it a few times. Of course, things have smacked into it for whatever reason. The typical wear and tear type stuff. And a few months ago, before I even decided to make this video, this pin here had a bit of surface rust on it. I imagine it's untreated metal, so rust was probably going to form there eventually, just from humidity alone, I imagine at least. It's never seen rain, by the way, but a wire brush got rid of the rust in a matter of a few seconds. Another thing that formed rust on it for God knows what reason was both the key ring and parts of the keys themselves. Again, these keys have never once touched the rain, which is concerning to me in the event rust forms on more integral parts of it. I also took a wire brush just to one of the keys to show you the difference. Another aspect of this lock that does concern me a little is this gap here where the pieces of metal are connected but still allow the lock to open and close. I imagine the pin is here to block thieves from using tools to break the lock and like pry it, but even then, I'm not really all that confident with it. I've used this grip lock off and on for the entire time I've owned it. I must say, however, that I would never recommend you purchase this lock as your one and only choice for securing your bike. It's really only there to keep honest people honest, a visual deterrent for the average lazy thief who doesn't want to bother with things like this. If I'm being 100% transparent and honest with you, I could easily bypass this lock in a matter of 20 seconds or less. And it's because of that reason, I would only ever use a lock like this if I had another one that I am going to use in combination. Like if I was gonna use my disc lock on the bike with this handlebar lock, for example, I'm totally fine with that. But never just the Big Panther lock by itself. It's a neat little product and whether or not this lock is something to consider really depends on your situation and what you are wanting from the lock itself. I do like it and I will continue to use it off and on again, but I would be insane to only ever rely on this lock as my one and only option. Would I ever buy another one? I don't know if I would specifically from Big Panther, but I'd be willing to check out others that maybe use a different key, and it would be cool if it had some sort of an alarm system built in. And that's all I got on the Big Panther lock, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it, as well as when you guys like and share the videos. I never harp on that sort of thing, but it's always nice to see people interact. That way I know you guys are actually enjoying the content. I may decide to share this video with Big Panther to see what they say about it, who knows what'll come from that? Probably nothing, but either way, thanks again. Take care of your bikes as well as yourself and ride safe everyone.